But let's talk about the pitching game. The most common mistake I find in all the pitching lessons I've given, players are afraid to turn their body through the shot. They don't finish facing the target like they should. So the question is, why don't you finish on a shot like this? Well, number one, it's a short shot. It's 20 to 30 yards. We know we don't need a full swing, right? We don't need a full swing. We know we have to hit it shorter. We've got to cut back somewhere. The question is, what do we cut back? Well, unfortunately, many players cut back their finish and look like this. Instead of cutting back, the length of their backswing. If you cut down the length of the backswing, that will control your distance too. But one common denominator is we always want to finish facing the target. What happens when you don't finish with your body? Watch what happens. My body comes down and stops, but what keeps going is my hands. See my hands? See my wrist breaking down? When you break your wrists, the club comes up. When the club comes up, you top the ball. When you top the ball, you hit a grounder. So, so many players hit grounders because their body stops and the club comes up. If I let my hands and arms go together, watch how, how good this looks together. See everything together? There's no wrist break. But as soon as my body stops, my wrist break. So if you want to summarize today's lesson, change the distances by altering your backswing, but always finish facing the target. Sound good, everybody? Yeah. Awesome. Well, Jewel Parkinson, can you put this tip into action? Welcome, Jewel. All right, Jewel. Great All to right. have you. Great to be here. Good. Come on in here. I'm going to step around behind here, and we're going to put that ball probably in the middle of your stance, okay? We've got about a 25, 30-yard pitch shot here, and I want you to set your weight kind of centered, maybe a little bit on your front leg. And you have a pitching wedge, correct? Correct. Okay, good. And I want you to think about a landing area up here where you want to land your ball. Yep. And then I want you to think about the length of your backswing, which will allow you to finish facing the target. Okay, sound good? Sounds great. I'm going to step back with this wonderful SAP team. When you're ready, let it go, Joel. Oh, look at this shot, everybody. Nice. Great finish, great turn through the ball and right below the hole. Joel, great shot by you. I hope you learned a lot today. It was the best day of my life. Well, well thank you, Joel. For your private or group golf instruction with PGA golf professional Doug Hendricks, go to winninggolftv.com.